Hey everybody, it's Tristan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm here bringing you guys a video that I'm very excited to make. Today I will be reviewing the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Love Sick Collection and the new Blood Sugar Palette. And now I consider myself very lucky that I was able to get my hands on this palette. It sold out in three minutes and I was on that website refreshing, ready to go and snatched every item from the collection up. And as of right now, this is sold out, but there is a pre-order available on his website. So if by the end of this review, you guys decide that you wanna go pick it up. It is available for pre-order, just so you know. But for real, I'm so excited to try this thing out. I am a huge supporter of Jeffree Star, as a lot of you guys know. So yeah, I guess without any further ado, we'll just jump right into this. So the first thing we are going to review is the new palette. Now there are some new lip products and we will get to those towards the end, but first off, we're going in with this. And as you can see, it comes in a VHS style kind of sleeve. If you guys don't know what a VHS tape is, you're hella young. But basically, it's what people use to watch movies on before DVDs or Netflix or whatever. But this is the sleeve and then you take that off and then you have the palette. And honestly guys, this packaging has to be some of my favorite that I've ever seen for an eyeshadow palette. It's so cool, it's so big and in your face and it has these awesome clasps right here and when you open it up, you see all of these magnificent colors right here. Now as you can see, this palette is very different from anything that Jeffree Star has done. Instead of his big 10 pan palettes, these are a smaller version in 18 pans. But they still have his same logo stamped in them except for the these two shades right here. I don't know if it'll focus. There we go. This shade right here and this shade right here at the end have different designs stamped in them. Now for the sake of time, I'm not going to be swatching this palette for you guys. I'm just going to be using it on my eyes. If you guys want to see swatches, there are some on Jeffree Star's Instagram and I'm sure other people have done reviews using swatches, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to today because we've got a lot to cover. But as you can see, I have my base all done and ready to go and I'm ready to dive right into this palette. I'm so excited. The packaging is stellar, but will the formula shake me to the the core just as much as this packaging does. I guess we're gonna see. But one thing that I will say right now is when I first saw the reveal for this palette, the color selection wasn't quite what I was expecting. I'm not disappointed in it by any means, but I did expect for there to be more plays on red because this is a Valentine's Day palette. And as you can see, there are some reds in here, but I think I kind of would have preferred to see a couple less neutrals and more reds. I don't know. That's just my own kind of personal preference. It's still an amazing looking palette, but personally, I just would have liked to see a little bit more red, but I'm sure in the future Jeffree Star will come out with a bunch more of vibrant, beautiful reds, and I will definitely be purchasing them when that time comes. But as of right now, I am pleased with what I have sitting right here, and I cannot wait to play with it, so I'm gonna shut up and I'm going to dive right into it. So first off in the palette, I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Cake Mix and use that as my transition shade. And I'm just gonna take that and pop that on my eye and blend that into my crease. And by the way, I'm using a Morphe brush to blend this. Alrighty guys, and there's Cake Mix on my lid. Um, I will say immediately that this blended out so seamlessly and it looks freaking amazing. Alrighty guys, and then next up, I'm gonna dive right into this beautiful, stunning, vibrant red called Prick. Like, how could I not? This shade has to be one of the most staple shades in this palette, in my opinion. So I'm honestly just gonna go in with that same brush that I used to apply the first shade, and I'm gonna go right into that. Got that on my brush. And I'm just gonna place that a bit lower and blend that into cake mix. Alrighty guys, and there is shade Prick on my eyes. Stunning, absolutely beautiful, blended like a dream. I am literally so surprised right now. Whenever I'm reviewing a new palette, I never know how it's gonna go because if it doesn't blend well, then I'm gonna sit here and panic and I'm gonna be afraid everyone thinks that I'm total ass at makeup. But whenever it's just blending beautifully and everything goes smoothly, I'm literally just the happiest in the world. And honestly, right now, I'm so at ease. I'm literally having the time of my life playing with this so far. It's so freaking gorgeous. I absolutely love this shade, but let's continue and see how these other shades perform. Alrighty guys, so next up I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Fresh Meat. And I'm just gonna get some of that on this little Morphe detailer brush. And I'm just going to pop that on my outer corner and below my crease, like so. And then I'm just going to blend that out. Holy shit. Do you see that? Do you see that right now? This is literally blending out with no problems. And this color is literally so stunning. This eye look already is slaying my whole life. Girl, yes, please, and thank you. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yes, so freaking beautiful. <sighs> 
All right, awesome, that's all blended out and done. And now we're going to move on to the next shade. And the next shade I'm gonna be using is this stunning, beautiful, dark, like plum purple shade. I don't really know how to explain this color, but this one is called Coda. Another one of the shades in this palette that I believe is a staple. So what I'm gonna do is take that same detailing brush that I used before, just get a tiny bit of that on that brush and just pop that right in the outer corner and nowhere else. Just the tiniest bit for some definition and then I'm going to blend that out. And then I'll be doing the same on the other side. And honestly guys, I have a love-hate relationship with my eye shape. Granted that I have a lot of lid space, so I have a lot more room to create. But a problem is that my eyes are so deep set that if I don't have my eyes totally down like that, and this lid space is smooth, if I even have it up a little bit like this, they crease, and when I'm blending, that crease will tuck skin under it. And so when I'm blending over and then I go down like this, there is a line of skin that did not get any eyeshadow on it, which is super freaking annoying so I always have to make sure my lid is extremely flat otherwise I'll have random creases and it's usually never from the eyeshadow it's always just because I don't have my eyelids totally straightened out if that makes sense alrighty guys and that is the top all blended out and done I'm trying to decide if I want to add anything sparkly to my lid but at this moment I'm kind of thinking no I really like how it looks right now I think it's really pretty and blended on my lid but then again I don't know I think I might just go ahead and go with this blending brush into a shimmer shade and just have like a light kind of shimmer on the inner part right here. So I'm gonna go in with the shade right here called Candy Floss. Now it is a shimmer and usually you don't apply those with a blending brush so it's not gonna be super freaking blinding and pigmented like I believe it usually would be. But let's see how this looks. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that's stunning. That's even extremely metallic and beautiful with a blending brush. I was not expecting that. But that's like a really soft, pretty pink glow on my lid. Okay, that just added so much to the look that I wasn't even expecting it to. So happy I went ahead and did that. Um, hell yeah. Well, I'm just gonna blend that out into the other colors. Absolutely stunning. Oh my god, guys. These colors are just magnificent. Okay, well. Well, that's the top of my eye all done and now we're gonna go on to the bottom and to start off the bottom I'm gonna go in with a clean blending brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here called tongue pop and I'm just gonna take some of that and I'm just going to run that under the entire length of my lower lash line honestly guys for real these shades are so freaking pigmented so pigmented. And then I'm gonna go in with that same blending brush and go in with a little bit of prick. And I'm going to pop that on the outer part of my lower lash line and bring that in to the middle. And then I'm gonna go in with that same detailing brush from earlier and I'm gonna go into the shade Fresh Meat. And I'm going to tuck that into the outer part of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to blend that out. Alrighty guys, and there we go. That is the lower lash line all complete and blended out and beautiful. And it's all done. But I am gonna go ahead and go into the Jeffree Star Platinum Ice Highlighting Palette. And just go in with this little detailing brush right here. And go into the shade Ice Cold. And just get some of that and pop that in my inner corner and on my brow bone for a little highlight. And this shade is also what I have on my cheek. Alrighty guys, and there we go. That is the eye look all done. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara, maybe some false lashes and some liner. We'll see how I'm feeling. But I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll be right back and we will review the lip products. Alrighty guys, I threw on some Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And honestly guys, thanks to the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost, I really do not need false lashes right now. Like, look at these things with one coat of mascara on. They are so freaking long and voluminous and beautiful. So in the lashes department, I think I'm good. I think these definitely do the job. So shout out to Rodan and Fields. For real, y'all are saving my life. But now guys, we are moving on to the lip products and there are seven lipsticks in this collection and three lip scrubs. So first off, we're gonna play with the lip scrubs real quick and there are three, like I said, and they come in the flavors cherry soda, chocolate covered strawberries and candy necklace. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste all three of these and I'm gonna use one on my lips before we apply anything to to them. So I think first off I'm gonna start off with Cherry Soda and I honestly don't know how this one's gonna go because I watched Jeffrey's reveal video for this entire collection and he said it tastes exactly like Cherry Soda and it's like you can taste the fizzy inside and if that really is the case I can already tell you I'm probably not gonna be a fan of this one. I don't like pop. I've never liked pop. I don't like anything carbonated. So we'll see but I'm not holding my breath for liking this one. But that's just a personal preference thing on my part. Oh and also guys the packaging for these lip scrubs and for 
the lipsticks is freaking beautiful. Look at that. If you can see that, it's almost like a hologram of a heart or something on that. Like, that is so freaking cool. And it goes around the sides and it makes the shape of a heart, which I think is just an amazing little detail. And it's like that for the lipsticks too, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. But we're gonna go ahead and take this out. And as you can see it for this collection, he changed up the packaging and everything is chrome red, which I am obsessed with. Chrome red to me is just so freaking beautiful. I am in love with it. And then you open it up and we have the cherry soda lip scrub. So I'm gonna smell it real quick. And it smells like cherry soda. I can almost kind of smell the poppy soda-iness to it, which I don't like. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of this on my finger and taste it real quick. Not a lot, just a little bit. And actually, I actually kind of like that. It does kind of have a soda-like kind of taste to it, but it's more so cherry than pop. And I actually really like it. It smells more like soda than it tastes. But I'll actually thankfully get use out of this one because it doesn't taste like pop. And then next up we have the flavor candy necklace, which I think that's such a unique idea making a lip scrub after that kind of candy. Like that's just so cool. And when you open that up, that's what it looks like inside. It smells like that candy. It smells like that hard kind of powdery candy. And so I'm going to swirl my finger around in that a little bit and taste this. Wow, I'm going to have to seriously restrain myself from just eating this. It tastes exactly like candy. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be reaching for this one far too often. I can already tell you. And then last but not least, we have the flavor chocolate covered strawberries. And this is the one that I'm going to be applying to my lips. So let's get her out and see. Uh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just had chocolate covered strawberries a couple days ago, and this smells exactly like it. Like that fruity chocolatiness. Wow. Okay, let's swirl my finger around in here. We're gonna get a bit more on this one because I'm actually gonna be using the product. And let's see how she tastes. Wow, that tastes very, very similar. Not as spot on as Candy Necklace, but honestly, probably as close as I can imagine that you'd get. Very good though, very, very tasty. 10 out of 10, y'all know I love Jeffree Star lip scrubs. Um, they always taste spectacular. I frequently use these in the place of chapstick, just because why not? So yeah guys, those were the lip scrubs, definitely a hit from me. And now we are going to move on to the seven new lip products. We have four new Velour liquid lipsticks, and then we have three new lip ammos. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch all these on my arm for you guys real quick and then I'll come back and I will apply one of them to my lips, whichever one I think will complement this look the most. So give me a moment and I will be right back. Alrighty guys, so I have all these shades swatched on my arm right here, but I wanted to talk about the packaging of these just real quick before I show you the swatches. So here is the new packaging for the lip ammos. It is a chrome red bullet. All of his lip ammunitions are bullet shaped and I think this is absolutely stunning. So cool, so fun. Definitely is something that I very much enjoy. And then we have the liquid lipstick packaging and it is also in chrome red with red writing on the sides. Absolutely beautiful. The same shape and everything as his other packaging, just a different color. And yeah, the chrome red, definitely a hit for me. Alrighty guys, so right here I have all the lip shades swatched on my arm and we're gonna start from left to right and talk about each shade real quick. So right here we have the first lip ammunition and this is in the shade Androgyny, which is a liquid lipstick shade that is extremely popular in his line. I believe it is the most popular shade that he has ever released and he converted it into this formula So definitely one that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy and by the way If these right here kind of look weird or like they're dragging it's because they caught my hair and it's making it look weird It's not the lipstick. It's just my arm hair But next up we have the shade at Calabasas Which is another repeat shade that he made from a liquid lipstick formula into a lip ammunition formula This is a very popular shade that he released this past year in his summer collection and he made that into a a lip ammunition formula, which I think is a very good idea. I love this shade. Then next up is a new lip ammunition shade, and this is called Sinister. First of all, has anybody ever seen that movie Sinister, the horror movie? Love it, and also love this lip shade. Holy hell, I'm in love. Definitely something I see myself gravitating towards. Then next up is a matte liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Self Control, which is a kind of mauve lilac purple. Very pretty. It kind of reminds me of Virginity from his, like, two 2016 summer collection, I believe it was, but this one is definitely darker and more mauve-y. And then next up in the matte liquid lipstick shades is the shade Problematic, and this is a beautiful dark berry color. Now, as you can see, this shade can build up darker in places, but I believe if you finesse it enough like I did over here, it will even out a lot. I just didn't do so over on this side, so that's my bad, but just be aware that you will have to finesse this color a little bit more, but I absolutely love it. Then next up right here, we have the shade Romeo, and this is a very pretty pink color 
color. Um, this reminds me kind of of watermelon soda and a 714, kind of like a hybrid of them almost, maybe? I don't know, it's similar to them, but it almost seems darker and more mauve than them. So definitely something new that I really, really enjoy. And then last up, we have this stunning metallic silver shade called Restraints. Now this shade is a bit less metallic than some of his other metallics, but I do believe he said this is a different formula than those other ones, but it is still reflective, more so in person, I believe, than it is picking up on camera. Not your everyday color, but still something that I think a lot of people will enjoy maybe for lip art, or if you're feeling ballsy, they'll just wear it out on the town. Alrighty guys, so those were all the lip shades swatched on my arm, and for my face today, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Problematic. I was either gonna do this one or Sinister, but honestly, I like applying liquid lipsticks more than bullets. I just think it's easier for me, and just for the sake of this video, I wanna finish it off easy. But these colors are very similar, so I am gonna go in with this one, and yeah, let's get her on my lips. Alrighty guys, and there we go. That is shade Problematic on my lips. Oh my gosh, I'm even more in love with this on my mouth than I was with it on my arm. It applied very evenly, little to no patchiness. And this with this eye look is just so freaking beautiful. I think this whole thing I have going on here has to be one of my favorite looks I've ever created. This is just so freaking fun and pretty. Very Valentine's Day-ish, even though it's like the 20th by now. I don't know when this video is going up. What day is it? Today's the 19th, but I think it'll be the 20th for you. But yeah, guys, that is the look all complete. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is give my final thoughts on the Love Sick Collection and the Blood Sugar Palette. Alrighty, guys, so we'll start off with this palette. This beautiful faux leather masterpiece literally slayed my entire life. The formula of these eyeshadows is so incredibly blendable and pigmented. I'm actually extremely impressed. Not that I really expected anything less, but honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how these colors were gonna perform, but I can say with the utmost certainty that this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes now. Look at this look. This was so incredibly simple to create, yet I use so many colors, which for me sometimes can honestly end in disaster when I do. But this is absolutely stunning. I'm so impressed. I'm so pleased. Jeffree Star, you killed it with this. This has my seal of approval, and I guarantee it has many others as well. So this, a definite must-have. Please go pre-order this or get this or whatever if you have not already. You will not regret it. And then next up, we have the lip scrubs. Per usual, taste amazing and made my lips feel extremely smooth. So these are also a hit for me. And then we have the three lip ammunitions. The formula of these is extremely creamy and pigmented. I really, really like how these felt on my arm, and I'm sure these would also feel just as good on my lips if they feel anything like the other lip ammunitions that I have from him. But yeah, these little beauties are just so freaking awesome. This is sinister. <gasps> Absolutely stunning. We'll definitely be using this very soon. So these new lip ammunitions, I definitely recommend them, especially if you already like the shades Calabasas and Androgyny. Why not get them in another formula? And then last but certainly not not least, we have the four new Velour liquid lipsticks. And guys, the packaging for everything is stunning. This chrome red is beautiful. And these shades are so freaking nice. I love restraints. I think it's so unique and fun and problematic. I don't even need to say anything about this shade. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Definitely recommend picking it up. And these other two shades, Romeo and Self Control, are also extremely beautiful and a lot more wearable, I think, especially Romeo. So if you're someone looking for something that's a bit more wearable out of this collection, definitely go with Romeo. But if you're wanting to go more out there, definitely look into the other shades as well. The formula of these four is amazing, which is honestly just awesome for everybody. I definitely recommend. But yeah, guys, that was my review on the new Lovesick Collection and Blood Sugar Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Everything blew me away. 100% recommend the entire thing. I'm not bullshitting you. If I didn't like something, I would tell you. But the proof is right here. Nothing looks bad. So if the color story of this palette speaks to you, definitely go out and pick it up. It's 52 bucks. The lip ammunitions are 18. The lip scrubs are 14 I believe. No, they're $12. I apologize. They are $12 and the Velour liquid lipsticks are also $18. So if you guys are looking to pick anything up, definitely head over to jeffreestarcosmetics.com and pick something up. You won't regret it. But yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment and all that good stuff. Also subscribe if you have not already and turn on my post notifications so you can be notified every time that I release a new video. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for you and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.